Hi, my name is Louis Pizarki. Today I will be showing you how to make grilled shrimp marinade. The most important thing in this recipe is the marinade. You can cook your marinated shrimp on your outdoor grill or even indoors on a grilling pan. This is definitely one of my favorite recipes. It's extremely easy to make, it requires very easy to find ingredients and takes approximately 5 minutes to cook. I promise that if you follow all these steps, you will end up with some of the best tasting shrimp you've ever had. So let's get started. First you will need shrimp for this recipe. I recommend purchasing a two pound bag of frozen raw deveined wild shrimp from your supermarket. They usually come packaged in a bag that looks like this. Normally I would recommend using fresh ingredients but when it comes to shrimp it's a different story. It's better to buy frozen shrimp because the shrimp that is on display has already been frozen and thawed. And even if you cook the shrimp immediately, you don't know how long the shrimp has been on display and shrimp could go bad very easily. If you buy frozen, most likely it will be thawed for the first time by you. So when it comes to shrimp, unless you're literally taking it off the boat that just caught it, buying frozen is your best option. There are many different sizes of shrimp. The different sizes that come in a two pound bag are usually small, medium, large, extra large, jumbo, extra jumbo, and colossal. I usually get colossal which is the biggest size you can find in a two pound bag. When grilling shrimp, the bigger the size the better. Remember, once you cook them they will shrink. Other advantages of using bigger shrimp are that they won't dry up so easily, that they're nicer size when serving to guests, and they work better with skewers. There are many different methods of thawing and peeling shrimp. If you already have a method that works well for you, please keep using it. I will quickly show you how I do both in case you have never done this before. To thaw the frozen shrimp, cut the bag on the dotted line, open the zipper, remove as much air as possible and reseal the bag so it submerges better, allowing the shrimp to thaw. Run cold water, fill up a container and lay the bag in the cold water for 30 minutes. Then drain the melted ice water from the bag Take out any air, fill the container with fresh cold water, flip the bag over and submerge it for another 30 minutes. Repeat the same steps until the shrimp is fully thawed. Once the shrimp is thawed, remove all water and start the peeling process. To peel the shrimp, start at the head end and peel towards the tail using your thumb to remove all shell except for the last section with the tail so that it can be used as a handle. To peel the entire shrimp, Start at the head end and peel towards the tail, but this time remove the last shell section with the tail by pinching the shell tail and gently putting it off the shrimp. Leaving the shell tail section on or off is entirely up to you. After peeling all the shrimp, give them a quick rinse, remove any excess water and pat them dry on paper towels. I like using the bag method to thaw the shrimp because they are not directly soaking in water for a long time which can potentially make them become waterlogged or turn soggy. The next step would be to put the shrimp in a one gallon resealable plastic bag and start preparing the marinade. You will need one cup of olive oil, a third cup of freshly squeezed lemon, three tablespoons of minced garlic from a jar, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground pepper, two teaspoons of paprika, and half a cup of chopped curly parsley. Then, stir all the ingredients together. After pouring the marinade onto the shrimp, remove all air from the bag, zip tight and massage the bag to ensure that the shrimp is fully covered with the marinade. I like to store the bag inside a plastic container to prevent any spills and to keep the shrimp and marinade from getting too cold. Store the shrimp in the refrigerator for a minimum of 3 hours but no more than 24 hours. 
I recommend marinating for six to eight hours. Make sure you massage the bag from time to time, especially if leaving it overnight to keep the ingredients from separating. Stainless steel or bamboo sticks will both work well. I usually soak my web or bamboo sticks in water for 20 minutes to prevent them from charring. After soaking, I pat them dry and start putting the shrimp on the stick. Thread the shrimp onto the skewers, piercing once near the tail and once near the head. The shrimp are now ready to bring out to the grill. Today I will be using my gas grill to cook the shrimp. Your grill should be preset to high heat which is 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 232 degrees Celsius. If your grill goes a little over this temperature it's okay. Make sure you dip both sides of the shrimp in the marinade before putting them on the grill. After your grill reaches the high heat temperature, place the shrimp over direct heat, close the hood and let them cook for two and a half minutes. After the two and a half minutes, flip the shrimp, close the hood and let them cook for another two and a half minutes. Then, Remove them from the grill and squeeze lemon over them for a fresh burst of flavor. 